Welcome back folks, Skitch on Wheels channel. It's been a while since I've been on a Himalayan adventure. Today, I'm gonna take a trip about two hours north of here. I'm gonna walk out on a thousand foot bluff called Lily Bluff. Problem with this is I have a huge fear of heights. I have something else that goes along with the fear of heights. It's called the call of the void. The call of the void is where you feel you have the need to jump when you're up high. I'm just apprehensive about being up high and on a cliff or a ledge. Let's take a look at the map and let me show you where I'm going. I'm gonna head out today around this Lenore City area here. And then right in here is the Lily Bluff area. So it's gonna be an interesting trip, should be lots of fun. Let's get the gear on and let's head out. Hello, bikers. We're gonna head up north. Um, next few rides I'm gonna do are gonna be kind of northern Tennessee. So yeah, it's gonna be a nice day today. I say nice, it's 85 out. That's still a little warm for me, but um, I did purchase some Revit gear, some kind of ADV gear that is supposed to be for summer. Actually, it's really comfortable. And the wind is just going straight through it, straight through the jacket, straight through the pants. I'm cool. So right now, things are really comfortable. We're going to make our way to Lily Bluff. Going to walk out on that edge and hopefully walk back off that edge. Let's head out to the country, to Lily Bluff. It's going to be a good trip there. Going to take some back roads there. Um, so yeah. Hang tight, and we'll have some really good things to look at here in a little bit. So we're real close here to Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Um, things kind of glow and turn green around there. <laughs> you don't want to eat anything out of these woods. Let's just say that. Because the Y-12 lab is there. If there's something in here green and glowing, that's normal. Do not eat the food. Do not eat the deer, the squirrel, anything out of these woods right here. No, no, unless you want to glow as well. There's still a lot of radioactivity all through this area. The reason is the Y-12 complex, which there you go, you can't get in, uh, is where the Manhattan Project originated from. And so the nuclear bomb, atomic bomb, uh, fat man and little boy, that's where the two atomic bombs were. So all that experimentation everything to do with enriching uranium all that kind of stuff that makes a bomb go boom is done right over here and it continues they supply the navy with all their nuclear warheads so this area is very popular among uh, nuclear physicists i worked in the er in oak ridge for a couple of years got to see a bunch of them actually and uh, the cool thing about it was is that of course this happened during world war ii i mean it's still going on but that's when the manhattan project started world war ii and so uh, all those people are gone now but the cool thing about working in that er is that there's a lot of people that came after that that were still a big part of the nuclear program and i would get an 85 year old man in the ER and he was a Y-12 worker, chemist, phys physicist, bio, uh, you know, whatever he was. Um, and uh, he, they would tell me stories and it's really pretty interesting. I think at 85, they don't care that it's not a secret, 
but um yeah very surprising what what that was all about and how those sciences became and how the nuclear program became uh, so many people from other countries came here and, and helped develop that so basically this is like target number one to any of our enemies take out Oak Ridge laboratories um, yeah so let's get out of here crazy wall right here Craft beer. Let's see what this is. Brewery parking. What the hell? Looky here. some cows this is pretty northern tennessee i didn't think i'd see this big a pasture hey guys just hanging around adding a few pounds we got these cows segregated i don't think that's right what's a porsche doing out here so i think we kind of um have moved past this but um not to state the obvious but Oh, there's a donkey! Hey, donkey! Look at that grab bag of stuff. Time for battery change. Packed in there tight. Look at that. One-handed with the shot. 37 top box. Looks like we got about 2.7 miles till our turn into the Lily Bluff Overlook. I got bugs in my helmet. Get out of there. Really rural. Rural? Rural. Rural. It's a long ways out. Crazy steep here. Where's a cool bridge? Oh, some nice waters coming through here. Where, oh where, oh, right there. Lily Bluff, Obed Wild and Scenic River. Oh, Abe Lincoln been out here building a fence. So a few of my videos had some creepy stuff happen in the woods, and, and it's true, it really has. I, I haven't made any of that stuff up, so I'm prepared now. Right here, got me this big old bear knife. Alrighty, Lily Bluff Trails. Alright, so we're going to go down here to the Overlook Trail. 0.3 miles, not so bad, but look, look at that. That's what's gonna give me some anxiety right there, is getting out on that edge. Um, like I said, I'm afraid of heights, afraid of getting out over an edge. Um, so it is somewhat stressful to me. We'll go. 
We'll take a look. Let's head. Let's head on. Let's get going. Let's go to the overlook. There's no stopping now. You got to go. So, just get to thinking, you know, it kind of, your mind wanders. Um, so this is a nice park, nice overlook. It's a nice day. There's a bunch of different trails around here. There's only one car here. Why is that? I don't know. Is there a Blair Witch incident here? Um, it's kind of creepy heading back here. Ain't nothing around. And ain't nobody around. One car. They might not even be at the Overlook. It could be one of the other four or five trails. We ain't gonna think about those things. We're not gonna think about the height. We're not gonna think about the edge. We're not gonna think about the need to just jump over it. We're gonna think two things. One, get some good video. I love video. And two, enjoy the day, enjoy myself. And I have so far, it's been a great ride. Should have brought my big old knife though. There could be bear out here. So this is a designated International Dark Sky Association. So that means that this is a great view for nighttime viewing to see all the stars and constellations. Pretty cool. Might have to come back here at night. All right, here we go. Not so bad, not so bad here. It does not look good straight. Oh my gosh. Ah. Okay. So starting to feel a little weak in the knees. Oh, it's good. There's at least a rock below us. But still, if this rail wasn't here right now, I don't know if I'd be out here. <laughs> no one else is out here. You can hear the rapids down here are running and they're a long way away. I bet we're a good three to 400 feet up in the air, I think. That's what my guess would be um, by the looks of it. But yeah, you can hear the rapids down there. Can you believe I have this place all to myself? Um, yeah, what a more peaceful way to spend my afternoon. Uh, just amazing. Again, do I have a knot in my stomach right now? I do. <laughs> this has really got me. But why would I worry about that when all this is out here? Get out. Go. Go take a look. Let's go over this way and take a look. absolutely beautiful scenery here what a great day what a great day of riding
can't wait till the next Royal Enfield Himalayan adventure. Stay tuned, we got one more thing with Zoe. Oh, so you want me to show you doing the last piece, right? <laughs> Even though you didn't do that, you are just setting that up for the video, weren't you? <laughs> well, show it. Let's do it. Zoe, what are you doing? A puzzle. A puzzle? Is this the last piece? No. Did you do that whole puzzle? Do you have something to say? You may. It's not. It's all real. <laughs> <laughs>